Welcome to the OSRS Podcast, where we talk about RuneScape-related things with RuneScape-related content creators. Let's hit 20,000 likes this video, shall we? Yeah, guys, you like that? Like yeah, yeah, not I, too hard. I think that'd be fine, dude. Uh, we do upload every Sunday, so, uh, you know, make sure you watch Tell out for those. Tell your grandma about our podcast, Yeah, please. your grandma could be our sponsor. And right. your Fortnite cousins, please. <laughs> <laughs> really? You mentioned Fortnite, the intro? All right. Well, I am Mitmake, uh, one of your hosts, followed by the people down below. What's going on, boys? Rakesy here. Do you know, I feel like we don't really need to even do an intro anymore. Everyone knows who we are. Like, yeah, should we, you should we even bother? Me. Well, it's kind of nice, though. I like the <laughs> intros. <laughs> Everybody we'll knows the, who the fuck we are. They, we'll we let the chat. Do all right, all right. Right. Okay, okay, let us know in all the we, chat if we do or don't. I all like we intros, need to do is man. introduce our guest. Yeah, okay, anyways. but we still do the OSRS intro and then yes. our guest. Yeah, sure. that's fine. That's fine. All right, so we got Rice Cup here. Maybe the last time we introduce myself. But yeah, last time we boy, know, man. Our boy, <laughs> our guest is very... He is, I would say, you know, the original uh, area-restricted YouTube series creator. Cramja no. only Iron Man. Caveman, cave, 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 oh, too. Yes, caveman before, and then followed by fear. Yeah, and we then can't everybody cave else like said, "Okay, along." But yo, my boy Fear has graciously allowed us. To, uh, yeah. Are those some Beat headphones, bro? <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, no. they look. They look more fancy than that. But yeah, uh, they look we have Fear here today for a good ass podcast. So awesome! Wait, so is that right, Fear? Were Were you the first person to come up with? Um... Like well, Iron Man. he was the I mean, second one, I would say. There, there have been so many area, like any restricted Ironmans in the past. I, I was just one of the first like per people doing it on YouTube, basically. Yeah, on YouTube. Oh, uh, after okay. But no, I don't want to take any credits for that. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, you yeah, should. No, I, I you was should. specifically. Yeah, what the fuck have you started, man? What have you started, dude? That's uh -huh. all I'm saying. <laughs> just, oh, yeah, man. this dude right here, man. This guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Me make care, why don't you make it bruh fuck that I'm, i've been getting that as well man i'm just like no like, Where there's enough want... of them dude they want to see like 200 hours when, uh... grind per video mate they're fucking in, in rice cup stream everyone was like asking him if he when he's gonna make like a uh, <laughs> unique account <laughs> oh poor rice dude Everyone's got to make one nowadays. I like the underground yeah. stuff. The underground Iron Man is pretty dope. I like that. He kind of started it. And then Verse is awesome. And then Settle blew the fuck up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. yep. and, uh, what that, the that fuck, is, dude? That is really interesting. So did you start making this, um, your unique Iron Man? Did you start making it on the release of Old School Runescape Mobile? Or was it before or after the release? Mobile? Like, how yeah. many months have you been working on yeah, your... Yeah, how, uh, how long have you done it for? It was like eight two years ago, now. right? Yeah, eight, oh, eight, eight months. months. Okay, no, so that's yeah. before mobile was released. Right? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I think okay. so. Dude, that there, was there, almost there, a year ago. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, long yeah. Time. I was like there, two the years I ago. Asked, I don't know why. The reason I ask is because, like, if you were the OG, and obviously this is, like, kicked off big time with, like, Settled, like, he's broken mm -hmm. huge records. Like, in my head, I'm thinking, why is it that Settled grew so fast? And obviously, you're a really good size and you get really good views, but like 35k subs opposed to like 150k. So, mm -hmm. well, that kind of makes sense. And I asked the old screens get mobile question because we just had an influx of players that started playing around that time. Mm. Well, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it happened. has. It's it's a few more reasons, I think. But I don't mobile, know why. Verf, be, you need a spicy one. intro, dude. You need some old school music and some fucking intro, and you got to get right <laughs> into it. Hey guys, yeah, Ultimate you gotta get the uh, booty shaking animations on the sides, you know. Yeah, like, dude, <laughs> get, for sure. Get some was, anime titties. That's all you're missing, well. dude. You got the <laughs> grind. You just need an intro, bro. All right, and I'm telling you, you're gonna you're gonna blow up from there. Easy. Yeah, I would say Verb's already blowing up, you know. Oh yeah, he like, definitely. It's already it's already quite successful, so you got that going for you. Oh yeah, uh, I've just looked. You've got thirty five thousand subs, which is really good, and you've only got. 3.5 million views. I say only, but that's like one in ten people that have seen your videos have subscribed. That's a really good ratio, yeah, like insanely ratio. fucking good. That's true. I got like. Seven uh, I was views. actually, I was actually looking at fair. those rates lately, like just out of curiosity, like looking at that percentage. It's it's interesting. Yeah, for sure, man. But yeah, um, that's really good. We have a shit ton of stuff to talk about. First <laughs> off, we woke up. There was a twisted bow glitch going on. But before we even touch up on that, we kind of got to talk a little bit about the friend drama, right? Yeah, yeah. I gotta, our, our friend drama. Our friend, yeah. keep our, friend bonds, you know? our friend. Well, I mean, yeah. it was I the biggest the stream. With the <laughs> <laughs> it was the biggest stream uh, since 
2019 to hit, and I was fucking refrigerator shopping at the time. So I was just looking at <laughs> Twitter blowing up, and I'm like, what is going on? I know there was some drama going on with his girlfriend. Oh, my God. I, little yeah, did I know, was, bro. Dude, crazy. I was actually I was streaming at the time, and people were coming in my chat like, oh, you need to check out a friend's yep. stream. Like, if you see what's going on. And I, I was, like, to begin with, I just ignored it because I was just like, ah, oh, these are probably people trying to get people to go into his stream. I'm not going to give it any attention. I hate when that the time went on, and it kept coming. And I was like, okay, let me check it out. Clicked on the stream, had it muted saw her face and i was like <laughs> right he needs to stop streaming right now right and like, i didn't even listen to the audio i was like he just needs to turn that stream off like asap like yeah, it no, shouldn't be should've. streamed at all yeah, so I wa dude i watched the premiere of keeping up with the caravans ones though dude first 20 like 20 <laughs> minutes man i was eating like my my, my uh, lunch <laughs> sitting there and like... i'm just like man i can't really eat dude. this is too spicy like shit <laughs> like for real but Before... man it was weird dude it was it, it was, was it was actually. it was in the middle of the night for me and him. For you, yeah. And for, for a friend as well. It was like in the middle of the night, 2 a.m. or something. Was it? Crazy. Uh, it looked like it was, oh, probably, I don't know. Time wait, for, are yeah, you from so the like Netherlands, Birth? Midnight. midnight. He is from the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah I'm from the Netherlands. Yeah. Which do, you is live, do you live like near Amsterdam? Amsterdam's the only place I know in the Netherlands. Like, right? <laughs> If you, you do, can or? we get a ride, bro? That's... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't live there. Oh, dude, I love Amsterdam, mate. I'd totally come and crash at your place for a week and just go <laughs> yeah, the Seriously, man. Nah, I, I want his girlfriend is going to let you, man. I want I that to get myself over. <laughs> get these filthy Americans away. Rixie's not even American. It's hard not to tell he's no. not American. He looks filthy, filthy Brits away. <laughs> like an American, dude. Um, he looks like a New Yorker, man. Is, we all look the same. What are you, we're all fucking we humans, all man. It doesn't matter where you're from. We're just fucking humans. <laughs> okay, some but... of us are ugly. Some of us are good looking. Some, of us, deep, are fat, dude. some of us are thin. Yo, who's the all the one. same. Yeah, what's up, dude? <laughs> what you fucking try? To... Okay, so before we watch this, we're gonna watch a little bit of the Oak Dice video, right? Just in case people don't know what's going Just, on. Yeah, for some but intro, man. To I want to get some opinions before. What What is your opinion about the, a friend? And we'll go down. We'll start with Rice. What do you What do you think about the friend thing going on? Uh well, it it looks like they were never in a healthy relationship to begin with. So it's probably been boiling down for months and months. You know, the type of like, man, maybe she cheated on me, you know? And and then she's like, maybe he cheated on me, right? Like, it's always, you know, the, like, what do you call it? Speculations. They've probably been speculating this for a long time. And, like, it kind of just blew up, you know, at some point. So, yeah, I feel kind of bad for him. But at the same time, it's like, man, you should have get out of there while you could, you know? Like, fuck, man, you went all the way to the Netherlands. And just to know that you were going to leave, you were going to you were gonna want to leave relationships and leave the Netherlands, like, right after What's the point? All that fucking work. Like, shit, dude. You should have thought about it more carefully. But that's about it right now. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, Racy, what do, you, what do you think about this mess, my man? So, ju just to clarify, before I say what I think, did a friend, when, when a friend found out that she cheated on him and gave that dude, like, a handy J, was that <laughs> at the beginning of the relationship, or was this at the end? It was a couple like, months no, ago, handy. but it was in no the idea. middle, I'd say. In the middle. But it was a couple uh, okay. months before he did the cheating thing of a jigger. You know right okay no I, okay well what do i think about it it's just it's a fucking train wreck man <laughs> like it just went so fast like you know because the, the thing is i've met a friend twice in real life and i met him properly when i went to cambridge to the studios and i sat with him we were eating a meal and i said to him i was like you know just asking him just general questions i was like you seeing any girls or anything <laughs> like that you know you got any girls on the go and he <laughs> girls on the go. <laughs> yeah he, he just responded as if it was like a joke and he was like, you know, no, no, I don't have any girls on the go. Because it was quite apparent that, like, he didn't have any girls on the go or he hadn't been with women, to me at least. And it turns out that was actually all true because he said he was a virgin before he was with this girl and stuff. So this is the fucking issue when two e-daters who more than likely one of them, or if not both, have never had a relationship or been laid in their life, get together... It's a fucking train wreck, dude. Like, what do you expect? Like, he's never had sex in his life. And then it doesn't, dude, it really didn't matter at that point whether this girl was, like, the most beautiful thing in the world or the most hideous. Yeah. He's never had sex before. It's going to be fucking amazing regardless. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be good. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Can I say that something real quick? And yeah, also, like, a friend is, like, I would say socially he's not normal, right? Would you say that? Yes, I, I would agree. So, so that's <laughs> Not like, even a second pause, dude. So, so that's what I'm like thinking. It's like, I, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that 
he's socially a little off, and I think she's also like incredibly socially off, right? Yeah. You think? So then you have like two really socially weird people just like come together. It's like what yeah. happened? I don't know. This happened, I guess. But when yeah. I agree to that, I don't mean I'm not I'm not agreeing to that being a dick or being disrespectful. Like I said yes because when I had that conversation with him about seeing girls, he also said to me that in Lithuania, there's nothing to do. I, I, I recall him saying like, there aren't many pubs, if any in his area. So like, you never go to the pub, you never socialize, you literally just work, and then you can buy like alcohol from the shop and drink it at home. Uh, so Yeah, no, I was just banter, man. I feel you, man. No, nah, it, yeah. it definitely seems like he's not uh, socially interactive. To be honest. Look at all those 100 hour series and shit, mate. Uh, Verv, what do you what do you think on the series, my man, or a friend? Uh, what his series? Not his series. Like sorry, sorry. Uh, I mix um, up the words. I think I like the biggest thing is the stream. I think he should have never like streamed everything that was going on. He like he, why did he not mute his microphone? That's was my biggest question. Like, yeah. What do you guys think about it? Like, why why do you guys think he was like streaming all of that? That was like the worst idea. All right, so. I know a good amount, like from other people that I've asked, but I f like one of my friends, you know, he also streams, stuff, right? He like, you know, he he's he's kind of like gathering from what other people say, because like you know this this drama, this stream, right? It 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 extended beyond the the RuneScape community. It pretty much like went across all over hmm. Twitch, right? Yeah. So every yeah. like big uh, Twitch streamer kind of knew been, about like, like number one in the on. category, right? In yeah. Twitch. So like, so like a lot of those guys that he heard from were saying that this is kind of like state. What I mean by that is maybe the things that they're saying is true. Like, you know, like they're going to break up, all that stuff, right? That they kind of cheat on each other. But like the fact that is, is like they probably already came to a solution and perhaps they just wanted to milk it and just decided to stream like the resolution. Yeah, right? I don't I don't, yeah. I don't, think that's the case, man. I'm I, 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 I don't know, that, that, I mean, I'm unless, not thinking that, but it's just what I've yeah. heard, right? And unless it, it does kind of make sense yeah. because- They I would mean, have to would be you... like the best actors in the world. Yeah, like, the, thing is, the yeah. thing is, you know? I was streaming at the time and people like were talking about it and letting me know. And I thought it was like a big joke, but then, then the police came and I was like, okay, this is, okay, I don't think this is fake. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my that's what I think too. I, I I don't think it was fake, but like, it's it's just weird that like yeah, you yeah, have sure. the balls to stream that <laughs> stuff. Yep. You know what I'm saying like you're yeah. streaming a literal breakup, and it's like you guys are just telling everybody everything, you know, that I you're think, not really supposed to. I think it spiraled, think that, mate. What happened yeah, was it spiraled, yeah. and a friend knew what he was doing, right? And he didn't mm, want yeah. it to end up this way, but he definitely saw the yeah. viewer numbers going, and he's like, okay, exactly. I, yeah. I kind of get a drift yeah. of what's going yeah, on right. here. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. So like, I was, ha I would have a middle ground and say that maybe he, he thought it would be good entertainment initially because they would probably just amicably just break up on, and then it just went south, right? Is that what you're saying? Coming from an entertainer standpoint, if he is socially <clears throat> awkward, he might not even be doing it for himself. If he only knows how to really yeah. put out entertainment, he might just be like, okay, this is what I do, right? Middle, middle yeah. of the act. I mean, like, I don't... just break up. That'll be it. But no, no police, none, none of that shit. But... No, it just spiraled. I don't think it was scripted, and I no, think. No the reason why it was streamed is talking about him obviously being like socially awkward and such and like i guess being a little bit um what's the words you know when you're sort of like oh what's the fucking world i don't know what the word is when, when you're when you're socially like split from the rest of i don't even know what i don't know how to word this at all but i'll just yeah. continue so like mm -hmm. I, I i think that in his mind this wasn't a bad thing to stream and obviously that says a lot about the way that he sees things. I don't yeah. think it was scripted. I just don't think he realized like the severity of it. I don't yeah. think he realized how, like I clicked on the stream, saw the woman's face and I was like, that upsets me. Like regardless of the situation, I don't want to sit here and watch that. That's bad. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. see someone crying like that. You know? Should I, yeah. should I pause yeah, it on another is, frame here? This is kind of... Yeah, there Jesus is a, there we go. There's a that? social disconnect, I think. Yeah, that's it. Disconnect. Sure. That's the yeah. word. That's what I was looking for. Yes, yeah. 100%. I don't think it was scripted. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to, like, I was logically in my stream trying to figure out why it was being streamed. And the only thing that I came to a conclusion of which would make sense is if she was that much of a crazy bitch that they couldn't have the conversation off stream 
because he wouldn't be able to get a word in. And what he wanted to do was to stream it to make it like a permanent thing and just being like, mm -hmm. this is it. Because I, like the thing is, first relationship, she's clearly a little bit nuts. I think that's fair to say after everything that's been said about her. She, he, when they argue like in person, it's just them and the camera's off. I doubt he can get a fucking word in. He can't even get a word in on stream, but when he streams, everything was there, even if she wasn't present in the room. So he got all of his thoughts out on the table. Everything came clear. And maybe he didn't feel fucking safe. I was watching it for a little bit and I was like, dude, this needs to get turned off. Someone's about to get fucking stabbed in a minute. This is going to go south real fast. You know, it looked bad. Dude. You know what? You yeah, bring up no, a good I, point I there, Ixie. He might, he might have done this uh, on stream once it started rolling in just because... If you watch the whole Oak Dies video, uh, apparently it shows this girl's very controlling. She even made him throw at like a desk he used to own, and his yeah, dad made was, it for him. That was the most so, ridiculous thing so, I've ever heard in my life. I, I could kind of, I didn't even think about that. It, it might be just because he couldn't get a word in, he might have just streamed it. Um, yeah, that's what yeah. I thought initially too. He, he also I thanked about, yeah. everyone. After like, when he was almost always streaming, he thanked everyone because he, he did his like thing, his word. That's what he said as well, so. Yeah. I feel, yeah, he, he did his what? Sorry, his what? Right. Like he felt like he was happy that he like told everyone and streamed yeah. everything because everyone's like supportive and like yeah, his, his, his like, support uh, group like, is his internet. Yeah, yeah, basically. Know? Yeah, yeah. But fair enough. It's like, so I got proven to you, my girls. And it's like basically. I gotta yeah, get some basically. backstory. Okay, so when this was going down, I was fridge shopping and I was really interested <laughs> in what was going on. Right, so I get online. I finally start up my stream. I find this hilarious meme, right? It says, dismiss sandwich lady. It's right clicking the girl. I didn't make it. It's on Reddit. I put it up on the green screen. I put a title saying a friend what the fuck because I want people to come in and share clips so I know what's going on. Well, I only get about a quarter of the story. We're memeing them hard because at the moment, my mindset is this man just sold out for a hundred grand, right? And now he's starting to try to promote himself. Do it again. Right? I didn't know the full story. So we're memeing a bit. I didn't take it anywhere too far. We were just, you know, watching. I'm like, this is fucked up. I want to know what's going on. Well, I was having a couple beers. It was like seven hours of stream. And Spark's like, <laughs> what are you doing, bro? And I'm like, what, what do you Wait, mean? Wait, who? Spark? Yeah, Spark Mac. He came into my <laughs> chat. Because I had like seven reviewers at the time. Just chilling at Revs. And he started calling me out for the green screen of the sandwich lady. And I'm like... Well, fuck. Is that is that offensive? Sorry, I turned because like, I kind of respect Spark in a way, right? Just a, a little bit. I, I don't agree with him in general, so I took it down. But he was not happy with how I was promoting my stream through talking about a friend, and I was like, ah. <laughs> hey, "Come on, man! I'm just having a couple beers, dude. I, like I haven't said anything remotely intriguing." Well, the next day I watched Oak Dice video, and apparently a friend can't see his kid. Right, when, when she's born. Like, that says in the video, and I'm like, I didn't even know the whole story. And now I, I've stopped completely memeing on a friend in general. Just because if he didn't have a kid, I'd be all over this, right? A little bit of laughter, it's a little fucked up, but I just feel so... I just I feel so bad, dude. Yeah, your empathy kicked in, brother. Yeah, man, so yeah. I don't I don't meme him anymore, dude. Like, this is... I, I have sympathy. Even though he yeah. sold out hard, I just... Serious. All right. Yeah. So you watched the whole video, right? Yeah. I so did. how how legit is the is it that um Oak she Dice lied about to have having his facts like, slightly straight here? Yeah. 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 But like, yeah. so is the the whole thing where she lied about having contraceptives? Yeah, a friend actually said that in a clip. Yeah. 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 Dude, the whole thing, like to me, I thought the desk story was fucking hilarious. I was laughing my ass heard it i know it was serious but like she was like she didn't like the color of my hard drive much. and she made me throw my desk away i was just like oh that's so funny because if a girl ever did that to me i just be like you're a crazy you're ass bitch you're get the fuck <laughs> out are you bringing in money at all in this relationship nah get, get the fuck out of here yeah no but no uh, you gotta feel sorry for the i genuinely do feel sorry yeah for i'm it. sympathetic I, now. Yeah, I know i do i do i, 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 I do. think some of the stories were funny just because it's so fucking next level crazy that you can laugh at it because it's almost like you can't even imagine someone being like that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like my, my biggest empathy for this guy is that he was with the girl for like no time at all. It moved way too fast. He moved countries to be with this girl without even knowing her. Got her pregnant like instantly. We now know that she was lying about taking um, the pill or whatever. And mm -hmm. he now has to pay for this for the rest of his fucking life or at least until that child's 18 year old by paying child support. 
you know? So the girl's landed on her feet. She's fucking sorted. She's got daddy a friend paying the fucking bills for the child. He's, you know, that sucks. I really do it feel does. sorry for I know. him. That I'm, actually really sucks. Does suck. My yeah. uncle and like, and, told me this and, when I was nine, dude. All right. And it's, it's some advice <laughs> he should have heard. And I don't know why I heard it when I was nine. He said, don't stick <laughs> your dick in crazy. <laughs> and I didn't know what it meant, and now see that's the problem. Audience, he didn't know. Don't stick your dick in crazy, dude. Or if it's crazy, know. at least let it be super hot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Don't. Yeah. At least you get a good-looking kid. But like, his deal. He doesn't know. What's, <laughs> he doesn't know what's crazy. You know what I mean? He doesn't know what's crazy. Yeah, he's quite. He's quite nice. But the thing is, I, the reason why I don't wow. think any of it was staged, and. Like, I like a friend, his content and such has gone downhill and stuff. I got nothing against a friend. I think it'll but go like, back up. Though, awesome that, put it yeah. this way, this com the conversation that we had in Cambridge about him seeing girls and stuff, we also talked about private servers, right? And this is why I believe that it wasn't staged, because he's very naive, okay? And I'll explain why. So we were talking about private servers. A friend has like over 300k subscribers, and at the time his YouTube was doing insanely well, like two, 300k views per video. Yeah, he's, we, we were talking about private server videos, and he said to me, he said, before I can even get a word in, he said, you will not believe the amount of money that they've offered me. And I was sat there like, holy shit, let's hear it. Like, how much is he getting offered? <laughs> and he <laughs> said, they offered me a thousand USD per video. And I'm sat there and I'm like, <laughs> I've been offered 5,000 USD for one video when I was like half the size I am right now. And he was there like, you won't believe the amount of money. And he said the only reason he never took any of the um, private server deals is because he thinks they'll refund the money. And he said if they offered him Bitcoin, he would take one of those advertisements. Oh my God. Whoa. That's mm. literally word for Whoa. word what he said. Damn. And I don't know if I've ever said that, but no, it's, yeah. out, it's out on the table now. <laughs> so I imagine the. Dude. Yeah, yeah, the promotion yeah. he did was more than likely for one Bitcoin because you can't refund it once it's in your wallet or whatever. I don't know how yeah. Bitcoin works, but it's something like that. So yeah. he's very he's very naive, you know? So I don't think he did script any of it. I think that he just didn't know how to handle it. Yeah, He yeah. didn't see that it was wrong to stream it, you know? Yeah. You know what it is, though, for, like, people outside of the community that don't understand a friend on a per more personal level? <clears throat> they They just think it's fake, right? Because, like, there's a lot of people that... But how could like you that. blame them? It looks so fake. Like, if you hey, don't yeah, really look problem, into this, right? it is so meme-worthy. I mean... Yeah, exactly. I, like, I, it's hard like... to even hate on people who meme yeah. this shit, because he streamed it in front of 20,000 people, probably front-page Twitch. All right? All of this yeah. shit, it's... You can't do that and not have people meme yeah. it. You know what I mean? It's... Like, I, I, I sympathize I have... now, but before, yeah. I, I... Yeah, like... First hand account because I watch it for like the like middle during, during in the middle of the stream, but like the amount of people like the toxic like bunch of you know from like the Twitch any any side of Twitch like the toxic side of Twitch, all those guys came in just spamming racist shit, constantly like that's how you know that sounds like, more these like guys Twitch. Are, like, yeah. yeah, it just comes through right when when stuff like fake or you know nonsense pops up and it's like mainstream. Yeah, like, those guys come in. It was. Flooded, dude. It was just flooded with tryhards and like. Everyone was donating their fucking Discord server. Oh, I mean, yeah. it was just oh so god, weird. it was just so like, toxic. It, it's one of those things, man. But like, I think a big part in this is the fact that obviously he was a virgin. He'd never had a girlfriend and stuff. We've all had crazy girlfriends. Like one of my, I'll tell you a quick story. I'm not gonna drop any names. My first proper girlfriend, <laughs> yeah, she was a crazy bitch. And I'll give you a story. And this is disgusting and like funny at the same time, right? So. <laughs> She was the kind of girl, she had to get up in the morning at six o'clock in the morning to go to work, Fuck right? Oh, God, yeah. And I'd see, yeah. I'd see her on the weekends and she worked a weekend job. And she would intentionally wake me up at six in the morning because she wanted, a she wanted a boyfriend that would wake her up and get her a cup of tea and fucking <laughs> some breakfast and That's shit. That's why you yeah. fucking give her the elbow, dude. You just fucking, yeah. fuck. Like, and I, I was really young at the time, so I don't even <laughs> think I was 18, right? And yeah. I'll never forget this. So I'm led there in bed, like my eyes are like, you know, bar <laughs> barely open. Like she wants me to make her breakfast. I'll go back to sleep the minute that bitch leaves. Show her that shit. I'm led there. I heard her pull the flush, comes back in the room, and she's just stood there in front of the mirror getting changed, and she's completely naked. And I look, and my eyes are just slightly, and I'm like, what? And I like open my eyes up. This is disgusting, right? But she'd taken a shit and hadn't wiped properly, and she'd wiped it up her fucking ass. And I just remember looking at her, and I was just like, oh. I was like, you've got oh, shit up your that? ass. <laughs> and she, I she, you know, this is how crazy she was. She turned oh, to me, God. and she was like, oh, for fuck's sake, like that. Like, it was my fault. 
I was like, what? I was like, this bitch is fucking crazy. Like, actually, we've all been there. You just need to experience it sometimes to be able to, like, actually pick up on it. But, like, yeah, we've all I mean, been with some crazy bitches. Dude, I'm glad you and picked up on it before you got a kid. Picked That's up. You saw it. I mean, fucking... She, man, she was nuts, man. Like, actually fucking nuts. I remember, like, she was so stupid as well. I look back at it and I'm just like, how dumb <laughs> was that girl? Like, place. have you ever, have you guys ever seen the film The Big Lebazowski? Or whatever yeah, it's called. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you see that? Do you know there's the scene when um I don't know what her name is, the girl, he sleeps with the girl, and then she's in bed in a yoga position, and it's like <laughs> you you pull your legs up like that, the woman after you've had sex, and they're supposed to help the semen get to the egg so they can get pregnant. You guys <laughs> Thank you for that? that. Thank you for that. Yeah. Okay. Like, anyway, like see so <laughs> this this I remember sleeping with this girl <laughs> and <laughs> she always wanted me to like she wanted me a cream pyre, basically. Oh. Come inside. <laughs> And uh, I never would because I didn't fucking trust Shitty her. McGee. I knew, yeah, yeah, I knew, no, I knew she wasn't He's taking smart. her pill, man. I knew she wasn't. So I never did. She she like wrapped her legs around me and tried to get me to do it. I was like, hell no. I always pulled out and busted on the sheets, right? <laughs> and I remember oh. as soon as I finished, got off of her, right. went on my computer, started playing RuneScape. I look around and she's doing that position. And I knew exactly what she was doing. And I was there like, I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, I'm just stretching. And I turned back around and I was like, how dumb is this girl? No, no, no. She was doing it because she wanted to get pregnant, but I didn't even like... She'd be one of the moms that would have her kids on a leash in Walmart, dude. You made the right choice, man. Absolutely mental. See, Rake, see, you smart, bro. You fucking smart. I mean, I'm not that smart because I did like, stay You need to teach a friend. Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know. to tell if you flip her around and she's got brown cheeks, dude, I'm just saying, Rakesy, you could have seen that from a mile away. How she tried to blame me for that, like it, like it was my fault that she didn't wipe her ass properly. Like you learn that when you're a little fucking kid. You know what I mean? Wipe she was ass. nuts, dude. Absolutely <laughs> fucking nuts. Ne never go for crazy, man. So yeah, right, no. you stick your dick in crazy if you wrap it up, but never be with crazy. Yeah, unless she's su oh. unless she's super hot, and then yeah, maybe for maybe. a while. But yeah. like she she needs for breeze. Even Every time Ragsy talks with his stories, it's got to do something with like shit and britches and cum <laughs> and, and like something blowing up in a pants. Dude. Like, <laughs> so funny. My saliva. It's the most stuff, man. Ah, it's like but a... yo, T L D R, bro. If you like, if if you think a friend's story fucking sucks ass, like don't 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 do anything that that was remotely close to what happened. Honestly. Pick your pick your couples wise. Here, let's give a let's give an example. Let's play a little clip here, huh? Let's do it. Enjoy why you shouldn't put your uh, schlong in. Well, All right. So Are we watching another video? Yeah. Oh, you tell me okay. when that I the, have the no different types of bashed crazy girls. Wait, that one. Wait. Oh, we can't hear it, dude. Um, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my no. bad. I forgot to change it over. All right, and yeah. for anybody that's just listening to the podcast, we get a lot of requests just for audio only. Uh, yes. I don't know how we're gonna do that. We could so we could look into it and try to figure out. We gotta blow up first. I feel like. Yeah. yeah so once. So your, your grandkids. If we hit your... 10k subs on Ozar's podcast, we'll start trying to look into different media to upload. Yeah, Subscribe now. Because right now we're kind of broke, and you know. Being yeah, a little it's, vicious it's a hard. slow growth. Tell your parents. Yeah, dude. All right. I mean, we've made like we've made ten bucks in like two years. We're doing pretty well, dude. <laughs> I got myself a Jamba <laughs> Juice. I'm paying debt on it. It's all good, dude. Yeah, yeah. dude. We're we're putting in more money right now. We're not we, getting anything back. We could, <laughs> we could share a frappuccino between the three of us, man. Yeah, I'll could, see our room. <laughs> we can let Verf have like a little bit of uh, a little cream, a <laughs> little cream. Oh. Yeah, all we can do is give him a free exposure. You know? <laughs> okay. But yeah, this is um this is Oak Dice's video on the whole. A friend drama so if you're not watching that's what you're about to hear and this is like clips yeah, from the yeah, stream we're not going to show the whole thing but you can watch this the whole thing on his it's, channel it's pretty oh, it's pretty put together yeah mm. yeah oh you tell me when that i have no idea what happened wait um maybe a little higher so what did you yeah, say it's already actually. next oh oh it's the police part yeah i heard her oh yeah so let me just see if i can okay. find Maybe some context. Yeah, the lady like hurt, that a friend I... put his area in hurt, called the cops on her, and here's a... I know all of you want to know what happened today. I will get into that, but I got to talk about the beginning. What about the very beginning of the video? He said that his... Cause he... I don't think... Really the beginning, I think it's his audio. Okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. She said she was on pill. She wasn't. Nope. That, sucks. that dramatic yeah. music. Oh, come on, man. All right. <laughs> she was not on pill. Now, the kid was later. She didn't get preg pregnant that time. But she said, I'll take the pills two weeks before. 
And nope, she was not on the pill. And her reasoning was... Sorry, I'll just keep playing <laughs> If it, you're gonna leave me, at least I have something from you. If you don't love me anymore, at least yeah, I... Yeah, you know what she yeah. got? She, she got 18 up. years of child support. That's what she got, man. Bruh. Look uh, at that. Oak, what are you doing, bro? Oh, <laughs> calm down, mate. This is a man's <laughs> life. You can't be zooming in on his lady's face like that. Not his lady anymore, man. But you know what I find fucked up is even though this girl tricked, I mean, a friend seems like a nice guy, dude. Like, look, he he's even still excited. I feel bad. He's excited. No, about it. He got tricked really into this. He wants to see his kid. How can someone be ugh, dude, just so such a shitty person? I mean, if a friend made me pregnant, he could see her any time, dude. I'm just saying, yeah. man. <laughs> What yeah. are you what are you doing, mate? He's all excited and then you Oak Dice, what are you doing, bro? Come on. Alright, I just and then his, his tweets right here. Um, I could read a couple out actually, so let me read this one out. Sorry, we'll not be able to stream today as we spent the whole day reflecting on everything. Went to Amsterdam together. Oh wait, is that That was before. That's, that's was, after. What's that after? That's after. Is that's it? after. That's why. They're yeah. back together? No, no, it said it went even worse. Holy shit, he tried again after that? <laughs> this man I mean, is trying. Yeah, no, he like he needs to move on and like <clears throat> maybe see his kid from time to time. We need to get some e girls no. on a friend's Wait, side, dude. Uh, he's not trying to get back with her, surely. Like surely he, they're trying he's trying to, to patch something to up. Away. But it's... still, so soon, like I would not he's more nah, man yeah. than I am, dude. Nah, nah, don't even try. Like at this point, literally separate from this person as much as possible but the kids set dude. up some meeting times just to see the kid that's but it. she that, but, it, but that ain't gonna work they're in different he's moving back to lithuania like that's and where they live the mother gets man. custody over anything yeah. and she can choose and it's just oh mm. dude and like... I, I mean like honestly if i was in a situation after like after all this bad shitness and i become lucid and like you know what i'm saying i know my shit now like i would just go back to lithuania honestly and you know what, oh, yeah. dude? This guy still cares would... about his content, man. He wants to produce content after the recovery, dude. <laughs> I mean, dude, that shit is his life, man. Like, all I need all, to, I would need... before any of the situation happened, man, I was <clears> not <throat> with a friend. I thought he was a shitty person for selling out. I thought he was just all around not a good guy, dude. And now that I can understand the situation more, I was completely in the wrong. Like, this... I'm, I'm with a friend, dude. I hope I can see more content from him. This this is sad. This this makes yeah, me sad. Yeah, bro. I just want him to, like, you know, leave this shithole mess and, like, get back to square one type of shit. Yep. Yep. For real. For real. For real, dude. Yeah. Um. Well, do we have anything more to say about a friend? Because we still got the Twisted <laughs> Bow much. story to cover. Yeah, we got a lot. <laughs> RuneScape <laughs> fucked up today, oh. bro. Yeah, RuneScape they, fucked they up today. Move. Yeah, it'll switch the screen around as well. It did oopsies of multiple categories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think there's really much more to say, to be honest. Like, oh, what we could talk about is how we feel about... Because, obviously, they broke up, and then he went and slept with three different prostitutes. <laughs> That's yeah. my boy the right there, bro. Though, Seven. You know, <clears throat> prostitutes, right? Now, <laughs> was it at the same time? Consented. I hope so. <laughs> hey, you spending that Bogla gold. You know what I'm saying, dude? Get them cheeks, bro. <laughs> That sponsorship money, man. I, I saw a lot of stuff on Twitter about that and how, like, obviously it was it was wrong because it was like straight after. And yeah, stuff, it's like a but revenge thing, but yeah, I, no, I no it wasn't after. It, but... it was three months after. It was after she was jerked the dude off. After. Yeah, yeah. It was like three months. Like they, dude. I mean, it's over once you touch another man's wing ding. You know what I'm saying, dude? This guy, yeah, dude, in like, my just... response, dude. <clears throat> if this is the way he heals after that lady treated him that way, he's you gotta do whatever you gotta do. I'm gonna be real. Slap the cheese. I mean, uh, I mean, she's betrayed him many two times, two times too many. And didn't treat him properly at all. I'm an equalist, dude. Yeah. Slap those cheeks, a friend. Because <clears throat> what him. I what I remember hearing, I saw a friend and him saying he didn't sleep with the prostitutes until after he broke up with her. So he broke up with her and then he went mm -hmm. out and slept with the prostitutes like same day. But you know, fair no, game. I mean, it was amicable. Fair game, dude. <clears throat> I mean, in I don't my really opinion. know how I, I don't know how I feel about it to be honest because. I, I wouldn't call that cheating, of course, because obviously you broke up with her. Yeah, exactly. It it's, was... clear, it's clearly not like a good thing to do or the right thing to do. But it's like, it's if like that on is... a neutral standpoint, I guess. Honestly. Yeah, if that is the case and like you slept with the prostitutes after he broke up with her and they weren't together and made that very clear. I don't I don't hate the guy for doing that. It's, yeah, because you know, it, what it, honestly, like besides the fact that he was naive, it's just really her manipulate. Like she was just too manipulative. You know, yeah. she lied. She manipulates. That's just mm -hmm. no, like, 
honestly, that's just that just ruins <laughs> your your significant other. So yeah, yeah. like there has to Fuck. be tr- there has to be trust, man. And like there's she, no trust. She got she funny with him for like liking his sister's picture or something. Oh, th- like yeah. what was that about? Like what? that's mental. Crazy. That is cr- that is next level crazy, dude. Like damn, <laughs> that's bad. Yeah. I just hope he. Yeah, uh, I hope though. he's good now, man. I hope he's good now. I mean, there's fucking. I think he's learned a good lesson to not just trust any girl or anybody. Like, you know. I don't know if he's learned anything. Showing a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm I don't sure know. he has, because that shit je- almost jeopardized his entire life. It did he jeopardize his oh, entire life. Do, do you want to know the craziest? Thing? So after streaming all of this, screaming, aggressive, like everything on the stream, please showing up and all. There were staff members, Twitch staff members that were yeah. watching the stream. Mm-hmm. And apparently, one of the staff members commented in the chat saying, won't be returning to this stream and left. That was it. Like, that is the most chilled out fucking mod I've ever heard of in my life. People get banned on Twitch for saying words. People get banned on Twitch for, like, you know, dudes are being showed for taking their shirts off and stuff. Like, yep. how chill was is that? Yeah, I was surprised that the stream didn't get like down from. Uh, I thought it did get all down. That stuff. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. She I pulled on the so. Ethernet cable, I think, dude. I think that's what. Yeah, she unplugged her internet. I think. Yeah. 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 I'm surprised you know that worked. Fucking. <laughs> but isn't isn't that funny? Like, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying he should have been banned, but it certainly shouldn't have been streamed. But for like a staff member just to be like, yeah, I'm not returning, and that was the only thing he had to say about yeah, it. Yeah, it's like he was just a viewer. <laughs> Yeah, like people have been Crazy. banned for way less than that, dude. That's like I mean, I guess it's something to comment gaming. on. But the way Twitch is run now, I don't know if it's something to be like exonerating somebody over. You know, it's like, oh yeah, you didn't because Twitch be banning over dumb shit lately. Like really, like uh, somebody got banned for saying there's only two genders. That was it. Really? Yeah. Well, if it's if it's social yeah. justice type of stuff related. Like that it's, gets hairy. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, I, but if I it's feel like, like Twitch shouldn't between, ban for this or literally but, anything lately. But I, it's, I, yeah. I personally feel that like if I was that staff member, my thought process would have been this: this this streamer right here should have the foresight to know that this is not what Twitch TV is, and I don't want this on this platform. If I was yeah. that staff member, yeah. I would have straight yeah. up, I, I, sure. not a perma ban on his account, but I would have definitely suspended. His I account could see him like, ending yeah, the for stream like for a week or something. something. Definitely appropriate, yeah. but yeah, that was yeah. Really, that was definitely because he like I, he's, I he's like it's kind of like self harm in a way, right? To like do this type of stuff. Definitely, on definitely. I I don't know. It's just very um, inappropriate stream content in general. I think we've nailed a friend. Yeah. All right. On this subject, mate, should we go over to Just Mika about... being banned? <laughs> See ya for now. Nah, I feel was bad for Mika, though? actually, dude. He said, Me- was, Mika was... is back. My Glenor locked normal account after recently buying <laughs> Twisted Bow on GE for 120 mil. Jagzix decided to up the ante to forge on a journey from oh scratch. No money, no Twisted Bow, but this time I have to start from the beginning. Is he gonna stay banned? I don't. Oh, is he actually ban banned though? He was ban banned. A lot of people were banned. Like, there was a lot of fake tweaks. Wait, like perma uh, ban ban. Perma perm ban ban. Yeah, I think so. See, because like there were a lot of people also like just trolling. They were making fake. I bought but- T Bone G. Now I'm banned. No, it, it, for if, real, he got ban ban. If that is the case, he won't be banned for long. Because yeah. I hope so. If you I mean, the- you can't be banned for that. If he if yeah. he took if he took that T Bone and like sold it for like RWT, then yeah. I understand he that, did just he, post this we are saved boys which doesn't yeah. mean hey, any, yeah. I, don't, so, I don't know if he's unbanned though i don't know he doesn't say it he just um, what the fuck so is that? The there is an update on the whole situation um, about like the bands is and all that this stuff. the update yeah, right here okay. yeah so they, they everything's time stamped so you know what happened first and then what happened at the end right uh, but like just a quick background okay so uh every thursday there's you know there's an update right and somebody i guess an uh a mo- uh, an artist <laughs> For the game did some weird shit we they, we don't know why or how he did it but basically he accidentally set a coordinate uh outside of the farming guild to spawn twisted bow every minute in every world no fucking idea how or why he did it but it happened he, he accidentally or maybe i don't want to roast the jmods because they yeah. don't even they know that exist but it's so hard yeah. not to roast him like where are you yeah. hiring these guys from roblox so like, <laughs> come on bro. so that stuff didn't get checked over and it came into the live game and for like maybe an hour right or so maybe even less people 
quickly found out and were telling their friends like, oh shit, touch the boat outside of farming kills <laughs> morning every minute. Get your ass away. Like, and then just massive people outside of farming just picking that shit up. And, and yeah, I guess they, you know, they decided to turn the game off and they were like contemplating on whether or not they should roll it back. In the front, yeah. and at that same time, people were buying and selling that twisted boat that they picked up on the ground. Honestly, they, they first put like a, a bush on it though, so you couldn't pick it up. Because when I checked it, when I went to the it farm, was bush, to check right? it, there Did was like a, a protection it? thing. No, yeah, it's a twisted no, it was, bush, right? Yeah, like no, 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 there was like the twisted boat was, was still there, but there was something over it, like they, they hot fixed that real quick, so you couldn't pick it up anymore. So that was still in the game before the rollback. Uh -huh. Everyone's like just looking at it. <laughs> That's insane, dude. Uh, so funny. So it only lasted maybe like 20 minutes, right? But so many people probably picked that shit up. Dude, right. I bet someone tried to telegrab it, man. I bet. 100%. I mean, I would. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Hey, if you want, you can read like the timestamps. I got you, know. you but Bryce, wasn't yeah. cool shit happen in our time zone, dude? I'm always I, asleep I for the I'm all, I'm purge, the too. PvP shit, the hacks. All... Yeah, Let me be live for this, Jagex. I know, man. Honestly, ah. dude. I, I was... I woke up seven hours after the fact, so I fucking missed it by a mile. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to read yeah. probably the majority of this post. It's not too yeah. long. All right. Just time. Okay. Uh, no, I'll read the little part above here, too. At the time of this week's update, a bug entered the game whereby a Twisted Bow spawn was added close to the farming guild in Kebos, or Kebos. As a result, an unknown number, we were working on this, of Twisted Bows entered the game unfairly. Very shortly after, we hotfixed this to have an option to be picked up or telegraphed. So they tried to hotfix it, but it was already too fucked. So at 1335, <laughs> the game has been turned off while we examine our options. So just shut the fucking thing off, apparently. Rolling back the game is one such option we are considering. Really now? Really? That's great. Uh, 1356. We can confirm that the game will be rolled back. You can expect the game to be reset and come back online as soon as the update this morning. Any changes made to your account will now be reverted and sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, four to six hours to complete the rollback. Dude, but, I'll say this. If they didn't do a rollback... It'd be dumb. Like, it'd be so well, dumb. They may, yeah, they may as so well have just dumb. put a post out saying, uh, we'd twisted. very much appreciate if you guys could come and trade us the Twisted Bows. It would have been effectively... <laughs> it would have been just as effective if they didn't do the rollback. <laughs> You know? Nobody would fucking give it back. Uh, 1530. No. The game is now back online following the rollback. Thank you for all your patience. And then apparently, uh, Sir Sud, dude, I know him. He lost his hardcore status on purpose for the rollback, and then he got it back. So dude, His shit's oh, glitched now, though. His shit's man. glitched. It's is... never going to progress anymore on the hardcore. Uh, <laughs> really? Uh, high scores. What? Oh, my yeah. days. Is that real? Like, Let me look that yeah, up yeah, here. He'll keep, so he'll keep his red helmet, but the high scores... For hardcore for oh oh my god are you kidding me oh my god that's fucked dude like because he, yeah so in game he's hardcore but no longer update on, oh upon the i'm gonna roast this guy he's a meme lord man all right his hardcore is pretty decent all right it wasn't like <laughs> insane but so he was very very off. dedicated very and this just oh bro just because he tried to meme it runescape oh. literally put so much in his ass dude <laughs> oh yeah, like, so yeah. I had so many people saying in my stream, they were like, hey, you should have got a picture of the Twisted Bar on the floor and be like, next episode on my series right now, we did it. Or the end <laughs> of the series. The, the finale. I was like 50% dislike ratio right there. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. I'm sure he has an awesome audience. They would like that shit. And then apparently yeah. Verf was uh, also deeply affected by this rollback here. Yeah, tragedy. <laughs> tragedy. Yeah, little, little, little story, little story. I'll, I will also... Um, I think 20 minutes I was playing because I woke up, I just hopped on. I had no idea what was going on. I got a genie random on my Kramja account. And I was, I think the last one was 30 hours ago. So I was really happy to get that. I got seven hunter. <laughs> and then <laughs> I, real, I realized everything that was going on. I, but it was uh, like after the actual bows on the ground, like the, the bush was on it when I got the genie. So I, I thought it was fine. But then... Then I logged back in. I was six hunter again. <laughs> oh, feels bad. Man. Oh, the worst God. story we've heard oh, so man. far. Tragedy <laughs> befalls <laughs> Murph. <laughs> six hunter. I mean, Mika got banned, but fuck six hunter. <laughs> no, dude. How, however, however, I just got a genie, so we we good. Yeah, we good. Okay. I got right. the hunter back. Yeah. Why before we like started it. the podcast? Bro. Saved. Yeah, we saved. Good stuff. He did his but signature. It, yes. I was like, what? Perf. Happened? I saw the other day you do uh you did a painting stream. Is that the painting behind you? Yeah. I didn't check yeah, it out. I was gonna say those look really good. Really progress. Yeah, it looks really good. What is it, man? Can you show us? Is uh, it a I mean, Kramja. Is it a Kramja picture? Uh, it's, uh, it's a Kramja I'm, picture. I'm no, working no on it. No joke, bro. No joke. Is it really? Yeah, it's really. Dude, that's cool. I mean, so, I mean, 
but it's Where's like the monkeys, dude. You oh, know, that's you all know, you care um, about. You know, Bob Ross. Yeah, like, of I'm course. Just, I, I paint for a couple of years now, and I I watch a lot of like videos and tutorial videos. So I really like like practicing my painting skills. And I'm like doing like a tropical island now. I'm just painting. I really like it. <laughs> and I started to stream it for the first time. Well, that's awesome, man. Dude, that's like awesome, that. man. I like that shit a lot, bro. Kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like Kramja. I think I will add like a gnome glider in, something like that. You know, yeah, because uh, um, the lava volcano. Com- you know what I'm saying? I'm the going to continue volcano. on uh, Saturday with that. So hell yeah, it's dude. Trying. Yeah, I was thinking, bro, if you could paint some thumb, like paint. Uh, thumbnail Here's picture and then you make it a, a thumbnail for your video <laughs> that'd be dope i, I mean actually i'm i'm making a time lapse video of this like I'm, cool. I'm collecting all the thoughts and making like something out of it so it's you, you know what you should do you should jump on the uh the pipe right now with a t-bow and barman guild with a t-bow spawning outside man that's what you should you should stream that right now tonight dude you should get oh. working on it <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be sweet we need an osars podcast a mur- mural is that what they call it all just three of us naked we could we could plan it <laughs> what? i'm fine with that uh, could you draw um, that yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> maybe censor the areas a little bit yeah uh, actually just wear, like just wear boxers man we cool nah, a, a lot of people don't know but verf like uam verf verf means paint so that's why i got the name because i like painting oh okay yeah and bro, you you sure, skate yeah. as well right i follow you on instagram yeah yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. Like- this oh, man is the Norwegian hipster, dude. I love it. I like oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, is the Norwegian Bob Brown. <laughs> I skated for uh, like eight years, but I, I don't skate too much anymore. I tried Sometimes. skating, dude. My whole body yeah, took a V <laughs> like the birds, and my ass hit the floor, and I just stopped Oof. doing that. Yeah. Bro, what about those running shoes, brother? Oh, dude. I'm I'm not running in them, but I'm I'm still wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably see him when I go to Boston for Pax East. Bro, so. what, yo, what happened to like the exercising, brother? Uh, it got cold. <laughs> it, got, <laughs> it got real cold, oh, okay, dude. Okay. Oh man, right. understandable, you know, understandable. Yeah, dude. Uh, I should probably dude, start. I convinced him to buy running shoes when he was drunk, dude. I didn't remember. <laughs> I was doing well, agility. Yeah, yeah. We were on Discord, and I'm like, dude, I gotta get my running, and I kind of blacked out a lot of it because I was training agility, and I was. <laughs> I don't get drunk on stream a lot, but I'm just having a good time. Like, I, I, I was an avid runner, so I heard the running part. I was like, this? You don't have running shoes? I got you, bro. And I hope you love I forgot all about later, it. Dude. A week later, these shoes <laughs> popped up. And I'm like, fucking what? rice cup, dude. <laughs> dude <laughs> that's you, awesome. Did you just Whoa. say avid? Avid runner? Yeah. Like, like you're a passionate. Yeah, no, 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 I know. It's just, I, I didn't know that was a word we say differently. So we say avid. Avid? Avid, oh, I, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Maybe people How do you say, say avid, garage, Rixie, huh? <laughs> garage. Garage. Say, garage. Uh, wait, oh, did you confuse me? Garage. <laughs> it's a garage. <laughs> it's a garage. <laughs> it's a garage. <laughs> garage. <laughs> mate. Uh, but then I say words fucked up anyways, man. Yeah, you true. say milk, though, There's, there's so. fucked up words, and then you go the next, and, I, this, and we love it for it, man. It's beautiful. Yeah. It. Don't worry, bro. And, I don't even care. I completely understand. And then you hear uh, garage. <laughs> <laughs> that's du- that's Dutch. How do you say, how do you say garage? garage? How do you yeah, say garage. That sounds uh, like where you do hookah. Your, your normal English accent. <laughs> what, me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you just say uh, garage? I no, no, no. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't, don't say the word. Let me just type it and then read it. Because you've okay. already influenced what he's going to say by the Ah, uh, true that. Wait, okay, okay, wait. Okay. Right, how would you say that word in English, dude? Garage? Garage? Garage. Oh, yeah. Second, Rixie. Garage. Yeah, Rixie just says garage. <laughs> Garage. Hey, that, no, like, garage. That, hey, <laughs> hey, if anything, that's proven my point because yeah, exactly. he's not English. Therefore, he's saying it from an accent's point of view. Exactly. Therefore, the way I, the way I say it, our country, garage. Okay. Yeah. How do you how do you, you say the word? Long time. How do you say the word carriage? <laughs> how do you say the word carriage? Carriage. Carriage. Well, it carriage. don't even. It's like the same. Yeah. It carriage. sounds like carriage. it's not spelled the same. Not even close. <laughs> then what's going on there? Huh? So we're, uh, yeah, like garage, carriage, <laughs> and then courage. Oh, and then, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 I said garage, garage. You guys, garage. you guys, carriage. You, you say garage, right? Yeah, yeah, garage. So garage and carriage. <laughs> God, <that's laughs> <the> Whoa, <laughs> my brain. <laughs> oh, okay, we get it. Oh, Reddit was fun. Reddit oh, is yeah. amazing, dude. I I kind of hate that it's only memes, mm-hmm. right? But at the same time. Anytime I want yeah, a meme, I'll just go to Reddit. Meme center, bro. It's just, I wish it's just it was a a not meme centered, though. I wish it was like, yeah, better than that. But it's fine. I enjoy it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. 
I still go to like Reddit once a day, you know. Oh, I it's love just, that clip of Tyler a... one. That's just hilarious, dude. Literally, I don't know yeah, if you've yeah. ever seen. Perfect. You need to share the sound though. Oh, okay, dude. okay. Warning, it's guys. super loud. It's super fucking. <laughs> All right. yeah, sure. I wish Tyler one played RuneScape, man. He is. He has I played it. I wish he played. But like as full time. Right, oh, listen to this uh, shit. Tyler oh god. Didn't even make it to live servers. <laughs> <laughs> How did they think that was okay to even put it in the game? I'm so <laughs> sick of this fucking company. <laughs> <I'm> trash! <laughs> it's the game! It sucks! Play the shit! And I'm fucking addicted! So I can't quit! Dude, it's real. That good. <laughs> I'm fucking I'm done. Dude. Everyone right now, that is... That's yeah. so funny, dude. That, yeah, my friend, is some real shit right there. I love when he says, I'm fucking addicted. Yeah, dude. for real. <laughs> for real, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my uh, God, man. That is... It is like, Tyler <laughs> One's so memeable. That applies yeah, to so many dude, different Like, games. literally the only person that could really be pissed off on stream and people love that shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh, he does God. it. he does it in a <laughs> way where toxic but it's like a light-hearted funny toxic yeah, regardless like of how angry he gets yeah. you know like there's yeah, a way, there's a way angry, of doing it it's over yeah it's over i agree zero days since the last fuck i was saying that on stream earlier i was like the, the thing is like dorial 321 a was... little a little bug a very small insignificant bug in comparison to bugs that we've had in recent years oh, a yeah. couple people died a few people lost some party hats and whatnot you know, someone was able to attack people around Gilinor. And then we get updates where we get max cash glitches. <laughs> we get updates where we get defense pures attacking with strength and getting defense XP. And then we get a twisted bow spawn and it just gets sweeped under the carpet and no one will be talking about it. And, and this is their stuff. answer. Let's hire more people who make art. What the fuck, Jagex? Do your fucking thing! So, I feel like we're going to need it. I feel like at some point we're going to have to ask the question, what happened with the artist? As in like, did he accidentally do that? How did he accidentally do that? Well, then my jet of a mustache. You're like, oh, you I got don't the understand. credentials. Come on in, dude. Because there's <laughs> only two. Well, there's like four artists. Right? The two big ones is mm. West and Ghost. And then mm. we had uh, the girl. Uh, G? Was, G? Or is it G? Or G? G? And then I yeah. think the, there's another one. It's like an apprentice artist. They're, they're, they, mm. Those two are recent, right? But these West and Ghost has been around for like two, two plus years, mm -hmm. probably. You, you, what? You think that this was because of the mm. art? Right? Well, no, because um, if you go down, I saw some of Ma Ash's replies because he explained that something like one of the uh, artists. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it one of one of the artists. Yeah, they they like somehow managed to code like a T bow spawn in that coordinate, and they don't know if it was intentional or not. That's what he said. Oh, uh, really? yeah. What? He's posted so, too so, much. <laughs> so he said that because the artist isn't around today, like I guess he's off work or something. So he has they have to wait until like you know he, he comes back to work with them so they can figure it out. Because like it's like an internal staff thing that they gotta do like a review. It's like so what yeah. happened? How did that happen? And can we fix? It? Or, I mean, like, or is it on purpose? I, I said this earlier. The way that I see RuneScape right stuff. <clears throat> RuneScape's in a really good place. Old school RuneScape's in a good place. People are enjoying the game. Exactly. The game is growing. Like, I'm not saying I disagree with these uh, quality of life updates, but over the last three months, there have been a lot and three bugs that come to mind. Max Cash, yeah. Tebow Spawn, and also this one defense thing. They are game-breaking glitches that can actually destroy the game. Not so much the pure one, but the other two, right? Yeah, and it's a lot of instability. Provides I, too much... Yeah, I, I think... The game's really good as it is right now. I don't want them to stop doing these quality of life updates, but I want them to just take some time, have a look at what the actual issue is here. If they have to take on, you know, more staff to be able to handle it or whatever, whatever they've got to do, they've got to figure it out because the game's in a good place. And yeah. to me, if I was a new player and I saw this, I would kind of be losing faith in how this company approaches stuff because agree. this doesn't happen in most games like maybe mm. once in a blue moon but we've had three incidents in like what in the last six months at the max they need to slow down and they need to evaluate what's going wrong here because right. the game is in a good place right now yeah i agree and by the way when i said they hired artists i they're doing great jobs by the way no hate on them they, dude the shit looks fantastic but there's not only just the stuff we're talking about 
but there's game breaking glitches all around that have not been addressed, especially wilderness yeah. stuff. And I'm thinking, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, yeah. dude, does no one give and, a flying fuck about any of this? Like, yes. <laughs> and if there's anybody that's like listening to the podcast to what we're saying right now, I know that we are being quite harsh on Jagex, but at the end of the day, you got to realize it is for the own good of the game. We all love the game and we don't want it exactly. to fuck up. Because my yeah, biggest concern. Yeah, my biggest concern with this is that if they continue going down this route, something at some point, this will happen at some point if they keep doing this, there will be a bug, right? Not many people will discover that bug. And then one or a couple of people will abuse that for six months, absolutely plummet the market of like a certain item or whatever the bug is, and they won't find it out for a, a long period of time. And if that happens, that can potentially destroy the fucking game. That, That's why they need to be on top of their shit for this stuff. Yeah, very what are you saying? That, that reminds me of the that, that corp glitch. Do you guys yes. like, remember yes. that? Yeah. Some, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that was purposely put in the game. That's the fucked up part. Yeah, but not many people knew that, right? No, what, well, no it wasn't purposely put in the game. So I thought it was, wasn't it? So here, here's here's what people thought. They thought it was, um, uh, uh, who's the Audi guy? Oh, you know, yeah. Reach? Oh, one of the Reach. Reach. They yeah. thought it was Mod Reach that did it, but I'm pretty sure it was Mod Ash that accidentally uh, miscoded something at, at the Corp Beast. And then yeah. maybe one way or another, some of the mods that might have connection with like, the, the people but Beast and Glitch found out about it mm -hmm. or, and like spread the information, or the Glitchers just found out about it themselves. Mm -hmm. But but because those people were really smart, like as in the fact that they didn't tell nobody except for like him and maybe a friend or two, right? And they just kept it all to themselves. Yeah. But like it was a it was an unintended bug that was somehow found out by the by the glitcher, so. But either way, scary. Yeah, it Very. is pretty scary though because who knows? There might be other hidden bugs. We, yeah, game. there's there, only there, time there, will there, tell. There will be a hundred percent. It's just mm -hmm. I don't want that to happen. There was a glitch Four. on the old servers. Yeah. Pre OC, there was a staking glitch where you could effectively stake your friends, and I don't know how it works, but this went on for like close to a year. And every time you did it, you would get the exact same amount of cash duplicated. It was a dupe. So if you staked max cash, you would effectively get another max cash for free. I'm not sure how it works, but that went on for such a long time. And like, look at the economy on RuneScape free. <laughs> it's you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> everything that doing that for 10 hours a day easily. 100%. On, on Twitter today, like, like, legit, everyone was saying, like, do a rollback, do a rollback. It was crazy. Yeah. They didn't want to do it at first. Like yeah. everyone was on Why it. Why is it was so cautious about a rollback when it fixes the majority of issues? Because I guess it's just a really big deal. Like, yeah, the I, I think to rollback do that. is just a uh, yeah. But a what's more of a big deal is the economy because the economy keeps the future of RuneScape <clears throat> stable. So they yeah. should have more importance because they all play RuneScape. I feel are, are some of these new hires not taking their job one hundred percent seriously when it comes no, to some like, of these uh, updates here, or glitches? Thing, I don't know. When, when it comes to rollbacks, man, like I've play other MMOs and you know the times that they've done rollbacks it actually sometimes causes more glitches like what? like especially dupe glitches and shit That's yeah no good. no for real yeah no I mean like I don't know how effective their rollback is but like from uh, I guess maybe in their servers you know, you know how old this game is right like shit's just not like if, if you mess it around then. even in a weird thing it like might fuck it up like I don't know how effective their rollback is you know what I'm saying because like it might be able to completely reset it to a certain point, but maybe for some accounts it won't, right? Mm. Like there might be some some like variables and shit. So. What they should think about, <clears throat> right? Because it's happened <clears throat> a lot with these Thursday fuck ups. Let's just call them Thursday fuck ups. Why not? Yeah. Uh, is to try to get a rollback that wouldn't be a big deal, right? Every update yeah. they'll look into it and they'll have a rollback on that. I feel like if they just kind of pre-plan ahead. They yeah. wouldn't have such an issue rolling back some of these really dumb glitches, you know? Yeah. The, yeah. There's one, yeah. one pretty big one for, like, like I'm playing a lot of Ultimates. There's one really big one for Ultimates, and they never changed it. Like, they left it in the game. It was actually a mistake as well, like, talking about the subject. The, the, the noted potions. Like, we can note potions, but we couldn't before. But because of the update in the Grand Exchange, the Herbler guy, they forgot about Ultimate Iron Man. <laughs> did, did, you guys, did, you, did, did you guys catch anything about, about that? Dude, no. Yeah, I remember you told me about it. It's funny. Like, like... We, we could never note potions before. Well, do you think that's a game changer uh, negatively? Oh, or do you hell, think it's it just... Was, it, was, it was pretty huge. Like, 
I, I only PVM back then on my main and suddenly I could know thousands of potions and just unknow them for PVMing instead of making all the potions from scratch. It's it was pretty crazy. Yeah, because like before what Virf had to do is every time he finished like a session of PVM and he want he would have to recreate more potions like from scratch manual. Yeah, like stamina, like, oh, okay. freaking range, everything, and yeah. now I can just unnote it. Like it's crazy. And it's still in there, right? It's still in there. Yeah, now he yeah, can make does, like yeah. Now he can make like a thousand brews, a thousand staminas, and only take out what he needs. So what, anything. from what I see, I, f I feel like it'd be a good thing, but apparently you guys are playing the hardest game mode because you guys are a massachist, right? And you I want mean, or yeah. right? And you want that shit, man. You want, yeah, you you want, want the pain. So yeah, take it out, man. Fuck it. That's kind of dumb. <laughs> It's too late now. I mean, they, yeah, yeah, yeah but we, we we asked about it. Like, I didn't use it because I thought they could maybe change it, but they said they weren't gonna change it. I was like, oh, whatever, I use it. But it's like, wow, they forgot about it. This That's another crazy. big thing, man. They're adding so many different game modes that um, they just don't keep up with them. I mean, Deep World is fucked. Some Iron Man shit. No, nobody keeps up with all these game modes they add in and how it affects every certain type mm. of uh, yeah, thing I, and all, I, I every agree. certain challenge. And it's like, if yeah, you're gonna keep there's another. There's another unintended thing that happened when they uh, made made theater of blood easier, and yeah, they, with the they, free they, servers, they messed up the dark beast attack oh. coding, and they never fixed. It. This one is like you know it's pretty much been swept under the rug. But if you've been following very closely to stuff like theater of blood VPVM a lot, you realize that something's not right with the dark dark beast boss. Like you've all done TOB. Right? Yeah, there's so dark like, beast spawns. Dude, it's always been kind of buggy. Yeah, so to point. say, so to say. So like before, right? The original dark beast <clears throat> uh, boss at the blood. Oh, that's a dark um, beast, it's dude. It's magic oh attack. God. It's magic attack. You used to be you used to be able to hit hit through your prayers, like not fully, like a bit, right? Like a bit of the damage would go through your prayer, right? Yeah. And and what they what they did, oh, oh man, it's a little foggy now, but but they fixed they they kind of fixed that part where. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna have to start from like maybe back. No. So like, so if you know I can, how, like, the... if I can interrupt for one sec. Sorry, yeah. I'm really sorry. But like in the last podcast, I saw a comment that made dude. Me no, talk don't read it. I saw it too. No, you saw it. no. It <laughs> the face you just pulled just reminded me. It said something like, um, whenever you're talking about PK and Mint Mad Cow knows what's going on. But if it's anything else, he looks clueless. Dude! He just, said, he just said that boss's name and his face was fucking priceless. I was like, man. what the fuck's so a Dark Beast boss, was... dude? I thought that was like a hog, bro. Oh, I'm so mad. <laughs> you, you pulled the perfect face. Bro. Yeah. People be I roasting me, man. I took Mint Mad Cow to TOB on release day, so he knows. I didn't do too bad, you <laughs> yeah. know? I was, I just got tired. But, but basically, right so the the boss has different attacks right there's like a magic attack where like it could split off of your teammates and hit you so like sometimes the balls would stack on each other and then like if they were different attack style ones you will get fucked because you don't know how to like when to switch yeah. the prayers so like they fixed it so that the or the orbs will come in like a consistent time so like mm -hmm. it'll always be like if it's mage you can range and then the next one's range you have time to switch to range so like they changed it so that it would be consistent right and that part was intended mm -hmm. But what wasn't intended was for the magic attacks to not do any damage to you at all, because be uh, because what happened was they made they made the uh, like oh it wasn't the melee attacks it was one of them right so so you see that the melee attacks used to do damage to your prayer or the mage attacks used to do damage to your prayer, and and that wasn't something they were supposed to change but they accidentally changed that in their coding so that the so that the magic attack no the melee attack just doesn't do any damage it was supposed to like it's still supposed to. The only thing they were trying to, they were supposed to fix was the orbs can, you know, not like stacking up so that you can switch on time. But they accidentally made it so that its attacks were completely nullified if you had the right pairs on. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. These are so, some like, dumb Dark bugs, Beast, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, Dark Beast boss became a lot easier than even when they what they initially wanted it to be. Because, yeah. like, now you can just completely negate all the damage that it does. That's when still was, the case, right? Yeah, that's still the case. They never yeah, ever yeah. fixed it. Okay, yeah, they okay. never ever fixed it. So. And yeah, yo, and fuck anybody who comments. I don't know what's going on. All right, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to learn, just like you fuckers. All right, don't look at me. Meet me in the wild. I'll beat your ass. All right, don't you? Yeah, see, fuck yeah, it. Dude, I'm here to learn. The face you pulled yeah. was Bruh, priceless. Dude, 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 I saw that comment. I almost tried to defend myself. I'm like, I care. Yeah, you're like, do I? I was like, like, like I was halfway through a like, sentence. I was like. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Just yeah. <laughs> I'll I, take I it. only I can only reply to the ones that I feel like this person is somewhat reasonable, so I could probably like right. 
One's, one's like, yo, Rice Cup talks too much. I'm like, do you know it's the podcast, right? Like, yeah. It's kind I of the main thing. I see a few of those. But it's I'm kind like, of the main thing, right? Uh, so you, would you rather hear like five minutes of silence? I don't know. <laughs> I like, get fart in the mic, dude. You can pay for it. Honest, like, <laughs> like, I, I love reading the YouTube comments, but for, for you viewers to understand, like we have our groove here. We've gotten into like a groove with the podcast and it just flows it's just how yeah, it is this is how i rice, see it man yeah rice <laughs> is pvm rake c is both and i'm pk and it's like we got this tribe written right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got rake this like the dude yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm the oracle of but you don't know shit about skilling apparently and so <laughs> yeah, we don't really have a skilling party right, so i don't know shit about skilling either. skilling pvm okay. or rake c's pvm pk so it's a little tilted yeah it's a little more tilted to skilling man because no none of us know to Fuck skills guy. I haven't even visited the farming guild yet. I'm not even. I'm not even like an efficient skiller, so I only know what I hear. I know where the woodcutting guild is because it's near sand crabs. So there <laughs> I, go, it's dude. near the twisted bow spool, and this first time I'd ever heard of no, that place. That. To be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's about a two minute run from there, so yeah, get get running, dude. dude. Beautiful. All right. Uh, do you guys have any other subjects you guys want to discuss, or? Uh, I don't know. We didn't really talk too much about first personal work stuff. Yeah, I'd like to know, that. like, Verf, what's going on with the <laughs> ultimate stuff right now, bro? Chilling. You beating Chilling. some ultimate uh, cheeks, dude? I, like I mean, uh, I play two ultimates. I'm yeah. maxing, maxing my main ultimate right now. And uh, I'm just chilling on my Crimes account, getting that uh, as high as possible. And my goals, like, my end goal, game goals, getting the Inferno cape. So. See, That's I watched the first couple of your Karamja a while back when it first started. Mm -hmm. I was like, how the fuck is he going to do anything? You know, I thought your end goal was like fire cave. <laughs> like, you're just mining gold. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're just fucking out here right now. Uh, what are you even trying to do? We're just being tribalistic here, you know? Yeah, and I, now, mean, I, I have to say, though, like, when I started, I, like, I was still researching a lot when, when I was doing it. And lately, I've been finding, like, finding so much weird shit. Like it, it's just it's, it makes it really interesting. Yeah, it's, I like I like the it's super fun. Wizard. I like the yeah, for, yeah one. that one for example. That's all that kind of stuff. It's super mm -hmm. interesting. Is it, it for me? It makes it really interesting too because uh, I, I think a certain amount of is possible. And then I like the clue juggling as well. For example, I didn't know that when I started the the account, and suddenly I can complete medium clues stuff like that. It's, it makes it super interesting for me. Dude, I, yeah, I was actually true. thinking about this the other day. Uh, I really do think. For somebody to make like a, a restricted Iron Man, you have to have like a, a specific mindset. And I can't really think of somebody with that mindset aside from people that are crazy enough to play Ultimate Iron Man. That's because true. like you've you restricted yourself you've already restricted yourself in the past. There are not many players that are willing to do that. I'd never play an Ultimate Iron Man just because it would be way too I much. I love effort. my bank. You know what so, I mean? It's it's so, <clears throat> it's like I started this the Akramja account. I started the account because I was playing my, my main ultimate a lot, but it, it started to be a bit like, I was getting used to it a lot. It wasn't like as challenging anymore as when I first started. So I wanted to to like up the ante, I guess, like a settled calls it because he started a, a, a restricted account as well. It, it's really fun for us because it's completely different and a, a new challenge in a way. Like it's still ultimate Iron Man, but like completely different. It makes it really yeah. interesting. It, no, it is I, I, free, it's some freaky grinds. Like I'm gonna do, like yeah. for example, I'm going to do 600 hours of crack. Crack. This is one example. <laughs> 600 hours of crack. Yeah, you're crack. Gonna... <laughs> He's talking about the hunter. <laughs> the, the, what, are, what are they called? Like crack? The, or... Yeah, the crack. Oh, yeah, okay. the crack. Hey man, yeah, either yeah, way, no, you're gonna need 600 hours of crack for that, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the title is "I Did 600 Hours of Crack." <laughs> No, that's probably uh, getting demonetized. But no, I, I can't think of like a person that's more suited to that kind of style of gameplay. Than I, someone I agree, Rixie. Before. How I see people who do these certain area locked Iron Man is that uh, they're probably huge fans of RuneScape more than we are in a way. To the yes. when I played Skyrim, I wanted to know like every town and every ah, secret, I and Skyrim. I explored, and I could kind of see that mentality in RuneScape. It's like it's filled to the brim with detail. That if you make an account in a certain area, you're going to find out all of the things you never knew. And yeah. people find that super intriguing. I find that super intriguing of the different uh, uh, ways you can train or get items and stuff like that. And if you put a limitation on something, it always makes it super entertaining and hard to do. And they're just super yeah. fanboys of RuneScape is how I see them. And I wouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I like RuneScape. Not that much. <clears throat> Hell no. Yeah. But, he I only mean, likes clapping cheeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. I need, I need <laughs> to go out deep. But... 
I, I, I think that's part that. of that's part of the reason why those series are doing so good right now as well. Like it's completely it's new. different. Like, it's new yeah, it's, it's, and it's intriguing. Like, and no one else people. wants to do it. <laughs> yeah, like you get excited over the most simple things. Like yeah, weird. But <laughs> yeah, Yo, you no, know that's, what's funny? That's amazing, man. That's great. And you know, everyone you know, enjoys playing the game in their own way. So you know, if you like that, then all the yeah. power to you, bro. I'm gonna predict the future right now. Like uh, maybe a year or two down the line, when when people are just sick of seeing old school content because they like seen everything and anything, right? Like when old school RuneScape's been dissected to the point that you, you're just disgusted of, of any <laughs> content old school RuneScape, right? Like Iron Man, old school Iron Man, every restricted Iron Man, like vegan vape only Iron Man, like no vegan. Is, like when people are done with that stuff, it's gonna be R three content. I swear. That's yeah, where. All right, let's take really him out of the podcast, dude. Let's get him out of here, dude. Whoa, let's, let's, swear, what dude, the fuck did this come? This gonna be Fortnite. Get your ass out of here, boy. No, not Fortnite, bro. Not Fortnite. It's it's. RS3 it's content, I feel like that's man. probably gonna happen, man. Only time I've found RS3 content this. intriguing is when a friend uploaded me. stuff on RS3. That's the only time I found yeah. it intriguing because of his voice. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're right, hundred percent. Furf, how long have you been playing RuneScape then, like in total? Ooh. Uh, like fifty. I was nine or ten. I'm twenty four now, so fifteen years. Fifteen years, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I was thinking that you were gonna be like a really old school uh, yeah. player, to be honest. Especially like to play all about Iron Man and stuff like that. That's awesome. I I, I like started, uh, like I quit when EOC came out, and then I came back when old school came out. So. Yeah. Yeah. I was literally the same. I never. I never. Like I never played Rules Gift Three. Never. I logged into it once. Yeah. That's when I cancelled yeah, my members. Yeah. <laughs> I told you guys yeah. the cow story, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 What, what did you say they drop? Yeah, dude. I was, I was like, people like, dude, try RuneScape three again, man. Just give it a try, all right? So I spawn in. I'm like, where the fuck mm. is Lumbridge, dude? <laughs> There's just like training camps and all this shit. I finally find the cow patch near Falador. I'm like, I know where this is. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind <laughs> some cows, dude. I'm gonna kill some cows. Four cows in, and one drops a fucking air staff dude <laughs> i logged out right there because i killed what? the only magical cow in runescape and i felt guilty like what what kind of drop table who's sniffing a 600 hours of crack where they're dropping air staffs mate to the drop table to cows it it's just not what it's i just, know anymore it's just not it's just not runescape we just need to pretend like it's not that's like going into minecraft killing a cow and it drops a sword you know you're just like what the fuck kind of modded shit is this you know it's yeah, it just sounds like a private server, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's got all sorts of fucking, uh, what do you call, graphical, cutie-looking things. You know, Fashionscape on RuneScape 3 to the point where it is a private server with some of that shit. Yeah. But, Actually, uh, no, the last time I logged into RuneScape 3 was when the max cash glitch happened. And I was watching a uh, sick nerd stream. He logged <laughs> in on RuneScape 3, and I was like, I'll log in on my account, and I'll see what I got. I logged in. And from pre-OC, I had this aura. I don't even know what it is. It's like an aura thing that you can right-click yep. and activate with the wings and shit. And, like, people were coming up to me in game, and they are like, holy shit, dude. He's like, that aura to get takes years to get. And I was just there like, really? I was like, it looks what? cool, but I don't give a fuck about it. You look like it a makes, gay gargoyle. Like, dude, it makes, like, your um, your sword, like, glow up with hieroglyphics. Like, it does look cool. I'm not going to lie. And you got these big-ass fucking oh, wings yeah, in um, the back. Yeah, those like, are... Next thing you know, they're going to be okay. adding anime dances okay. or RuneScape 3, like those fucking yeah, MMOs, no, um, dude. I need some of that. Yo, like, honestly, dude, Mainscape R3 is just ass. Like, it's all about <laughs> Iron Man, bro. It's just about Iron Man. R3 Iron Man is dope, because you don't get MTX, you don't get that shit. So you just, you're just playing the game and play the game, and you're just interacting with cons. So pretty much Wait, take okay. out the economy, take out literally everything else, gut it. Take out all the it's you know, kind of enjoyable. Shit. Take out the cows. So, so yeah, I, that's why I love playing R3 Iron Man, because it just felt like playing, just like playing the game. So are you telling me as an RS3 Iron Man, you can't go to the school of fortune or anything? No, no, emotions? none of that shit. No. All right. That's good. I'm, I'm out. I love, I love that game. I played it for a year. I fiended that shit. It was because it was that fun. So, yeah. But yeah, I just hate, I just hate having to deal with any like, you know, squeal or treasure. I can't hunter. wait I till old like school gets a squeal of fortune, but they're going to like revamp Terrible. it. It's going to be like a runescape, you know, loot box or something, dude. Fucking... Yeah. You get one every room crafting level. <laughs> Dude, the way the, the the way the verf looked then, I could tell you. If you're, what is Wait. this kid fucking saying? Get off of here! <laughs> well, my face I was making. Yeah. No, uh -huh. I. I, I just got an odd XP random, so I was yeah, happy. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> oh, got excited. Too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see the picture, bro. Two lands right there. Uh, 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 righty, boys. I say we wrap it up. What do you guys right. think?
Sounds good, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm good whenever. So. Beautiful, Verf. Yeah. Where can the people find you, mate? What are your social? Uh, Twitch, YouTube, UEMVF. Same as my username. Yeah, we'll link that down in the description. Twitter, it's like all, all the same name. Yeah. Twitter, okay. YouTube. We'll, we'll put you uh, Verf's channel. Uh, Remember, he paints yeah. RuneScape hentai. He's behind all that shit, knees and the titties <laughs> and everything, dude. So hit him up on those socials, man. <laughs> You got a Patreon? For yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Premium Snapchat. A, a pleasure to be on. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, That's great. Thanks dude. for coming on, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Nice to get to know you a little.